How you feeling? Um, like a gator grabbed me. Scott Lahoda can joke about it now, FaceTiming from his hospital bed. But 24 hours ago, his situation was as serious as it gets. He could have ripped my arm off or, you know, he could have grabbed my head. Um, and I, you know, he could have drowned me. There are so many ways things could have ended up worse when this 10 and a half foot alligator attacked Lahodic Friday. He just came and, I mean, full blast, grabbed my arm all the way back in his throat. And then he started to roll with me. Lahodic was just doing his job. He's a professional diver hired to remove golf balls from the lakes at the Rotunda Golf and Country Club. He never saw the gator coming and had to think fast. So I knew I had to do something, so I started punching him you know, up by the eye, and then he let go. In a sudden race to save his own life, he sped to the clubhouse in a golf cart. And I was going to lay down on the green, but I knew if I did, I, I didn't think I would make it. It was really uh, a horrendous attack. Lahodic's wife will never forget the call from her frantic husband moments after he escaped the animal's jaws. I got a, a call with him screaming on the other line with a gut-wrenching um, sound. Um, telling me that he had been attacked by an alligator. Florida Fish and Wildlife Trappers caught it. It weighs between 500 and 600 pounds. He's the guy's lucky he got away from him. This was a miracle that I believe the God was protecting him. The Lahodics realize Scott is fortunate he's alive, but they also know the gator's bite could leave him facing more tough battles ahead. And there's probably, you know, over 400 staples and stitches. Um, and we're just praying that no infection sets in over the next couple of days.